Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my preschool and kindergarten learning area where I have our morning meetings and where I put my children's hands-on activities on a shelf. I'm also going to be sharing with you their desks. They are three and five years old. So let's get started with our morning circle area. So this is the area where I pull out this little table and we have our morning circle time. And then this is an organizer that I use to put our interactive learning binders and some books. Over here, we have our memory work board where we have the things that we are memorizing. And I'm going to link a video of that below if you're, if you're interested in that. So in here, we have the books that we are either getting from the library or that we have here at home. And I'm making sure that I'm reading a little bit every day. Uh, just all of those repetitive books that you want to be reading at these ages. And I did make a video on repetitive books and their importance. All right, so let's go on to the interactive learning binders. I recently made a video of this Tyler learning folder, and this one is for my three-year-old, and she already finished the Tyler learning folder part one, and she's going to continue working on this one, which is going to continue helping her learn all of those preschool basics in an interactive and fun way. And I talked about this in another video, but it is one of those folders that really help children with visual discrimination and learning preschool basics and especially if they already finished the first level this one's going to take them to another level and really focus on a lot of different concepts that weren't taught in the first folder all right and i'm going to be linking all of these below so that if you want a copy of these you can also get them so that is what i have here for my three-year-old then i have some more interactive learning binders here for my five-year-old so this one's the literacy level one so this is another one that's going to teach all of the kindergarten and first grade literacy basics and it's going to have middle sounds everything is velcro it has rhyming activities it has alphabet order it has building sentences it has beginning letter sounds it has abc order ending letter sounds, CBC picture word match, counting syllables, pronouns, possessive nouns, sort nouns and verbs. So it has a lot of different information. And um, we're just gonna do a little bit each time. So one page a day and I'll have him do it during our circle time. And it'll be just something fun that he can do. Okay, so this next folder is a geography folder, and this is so that the child can memorize the states. So that's what I'm focusing on for the three and the five-year-old, memorizing their states. And the states are in the four main regions of the United States. So the Northeast, the South, the Midwest, and the West. And it has these puzzles that they can do as we learn the different states. And then it has um, different activities that you can do, such as bingo. So if we're going to be focusing on the Northeast at first, for the first month or two, we're going to focus on the Northeast. So we're going to play Northeast bingo with all the states. We also have coloring sheets where they get to color the map just as they see in the puzzle. So that way they are learning the, the states that way. And it is just a great activity where they can learn their states. This is what I focus on. Then for the older kids, they can learn their capitals with this because there's also learning capitals with this folder and also learning abbreviations as well to the states. So this is just a great addition um, to our homeschool to learn uh, all of your states. And I'll link this folder below. Another one that we have here is the Spanish learning folder. And this is to learn all of the Spanish basics. So... We're going to just do a little bit at a time during our circle time so that the children are really learning uh, a little bit of Spanish every day. The best way to learn Spanish, of course, is to always be speaking Spanish, exposing the children to the language. If you're not a speaker, then um, getting a folder like this is really helpful. All right, so let's move on to the interactive math learning binder and... Again, I love these binders because they really bring learning alive and they're teaching the basics that children need to learn for from preschool to first grade. And they love doing these binders. They're fun. They're interactive. They're colorful. They're learning a lot of different information in a fun and interactive way. 
and my children just love these binders and i'm going to link these below if you're interested in all of these interactive learning binders so these are the learning binders and we will just do a little bit at a time every day okay so let's move on here to our morning learning board this is where we have our morning circle time and we have a poem on the wall this is the kindergarten poems from abeka and you get a big picture and in the back it has all of the poem and the information on the poem here we have a learning resources clock and this is really helpful for learning time and you can maneuver the clock and move it around and um, this year we're focusing on telling time by the hour and by the half an hour. So this is going to be a very helpful clock to do that. Here we have a counting by tens little poster that my mother made for the kids this year that they're going to be working with. Then this is our morning circle time board. Here we have the alphabet. So we can go over the alphabet, the letter sounds. They can learn how to write the uppercase and lowercase. Then we're working on skip counting. So this is something that I can pull out and put on different skip counting that we're going to be working on. At first, we're going to be working with the twos, the fives, and the tens. That is what I really want them to learn this year. And then once we memorize those, we're going to move on to the others. Skip counting is really important for so many different areas in mathematics. Here we have a the flashcards from 1 through 20. Then we have the uh, letter uh, flashcards and these are just index cards that I created and I've used for over a decade with my kids to learn their letter sounds. Here we have our morning offering prayer. Then we have our virtues. And so every month we are memorizing one virtue. And then these virtue cards have a little lesson in the back and you can teach your child about the different virtues, how to apply them, ask them questions. This is perseverance for this month. And I think this is just a great way to start teaching your children about character. Here we have learning money. And this is just a little poster that I created for the kids. I'm going to be pulling these off every morning and then having them place them where they belong. And I also have real money here. So they're going to be practicing their money uh, every day. We're going to be identifying the coins, counting coins. Here we have money practice. So I'll write down how much money I want them to show me, and then they will show me with the coins here. Here we have time practice. I'll write the time, have them read me the time, um, and I'll have them see the time here on the clock as well. Then we have these smaller clocks that I'm going to have them work with. And so when I show them the time, I want them to also recreate the time here and write the time here as well. So that's going to be great practice every morning. Then over here we have the season what season we're in so they got to rotate the wheel and then we have uh the weather how's the weather today whether it's windy it's chilly it's hot then we have our flashcards flashcards are a big part of our homeschool i love using flashcards because it's an effective way on learning information in a fast way so in here i have different flashcards that the kids are learning and every day we are doing a little bit at a time so let me show you what we got in here so we have numbers zero through 100 we have colors a lot of these they already know letter sounds we have telling time by the hour we have shapes we have birds backyard birds and we also have these brain quest cards and they are for ages five to six and for ages three to four as well. So those are our flashcards. Along with those flashcards, I have these pointers. They get to pick out different pointers every day as we work on our flashcards. Another important one that I have been working with is this common knowledge question box. I made a video on it on my private community going through all of the questions, but these are questions that children need to learn, such as their full name, their birthday, emergency contact numbers, information about civics and science and geography and stranger danger and fire safety, a lot of different things like that. If you want to see the questions, I'm going to link them below um, so you can have access to them. Then I have this uh, data sheet and this is where I can write down the date 
and the flashcard said that I'm using the student name and their score. That way I can measure the child's progress with these flashcards that I'm using over here and seeing how they're doing with the flashcards. And then once they've mastered the flashcards that I will remove it from our caddy here and I can add a new one at that point and continue working on learning information with flashcards. All right, so that is our morning circle area. Now let's move on to our shelf over here. This is where I put all of their hands-on activities. So after they're done doing all of their uh, workbooks for the day and we're, they don't do a, a whole lot of workbooks and I made a video on the curriculums that they're using, but then once they're done, they love doing hands-on activities. So they'll come to the shelf and they can pick out one or two of these um, as they want. And I have a section for literacy, a section for math, I always have some type of logic activity and fine motor activity as well. So let me show you. So here I have this one's for uh, my son and he's going to be having these cards. These are CVC cards. And then he's going to be using the tiles to write the names of the pictures that he sees here. This is going to be good spelling practice and it's going to be good reading practice as well. Then we have, again, this is the literacy section. So we have alphabet bingo. That's a great one that my kids love to play. We're always playing bingo every week. There's so many bingo games that we enjoy. And this is one of the, my little one's favorite. This one is for my three-year-old. This is so she can practice her beginning letter sounds. This is a free printable. I'm going to link it below for you guys. And she's just going to find the beginning letter sound for all of these. And it's going to be... Um, something that she can enjoy and just practice those, those beginning letter sounds like like zebra z, z, zebra elephant eh, eh, elephant and so on then here we have our math section so i have an activity for my son and an activity for my younger daughter and so for my younger daughter i have this activity um and these are just some pom-poms and then she's going to use these tweezers to put the correct number of pom-poms in each of these ice creams. Then for my son, I'm going to be using a file folder game. And here's a file folder game that he's going to do. This is a number sequence file folder game. And so the numbers are up here. And then he has to fill in the snake, putting the numbers in order like one, two, and it's going to go all the way until 20. This is number sequence. And this is an important concept for five and six-year-olds. All right, so that's what he's doing for his file folder game. And then this is a game that we're playing with them. It's called Penny Drop. And so we're going to use pennies and play that fun game as well. Then here we have some logic activities for them. This one is for my three-year-old. Sorting is an excellent activity for children. And here I am having her sort erasers. These are mini erasers. And then she's just going to practice sorting them where they belong. This is a great activity for visual discrimination, logic. It is also great for as they are grabbing their little erasers, they're working on their fine motor skills. And you're working on concentration as there's quite a lot of little erasers that the child has to sort out. Here I have another activity that's for logic for my son. And this one is um, working with this matrix of different sizes. He gets to put things in order where they belong. So let me show you. The dogs are all different sizes. So they're small. They're slightly bigger. So he gets to put them in order. This one's the bigger dog here. And so he gets to put all of these dogs in order from smallest to largest. Okay, let's move on to another activity here. We have the um, activities for fine motor development. And here we have for them these lacing cards that they are going to absolutely love doing because they love these little robots. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree many years ago. And I have the laces here and they're going to love lacing these through. Here we have a sewing block that they can also work with and is going to again work on those fine motor skills and sewing skills as well so that is what i have for the shelf and i switch the shelf out once or twice a week and they're just ha they just have activities here that they can do a little bit at a time here in this section i have my group subjects i went over that in my private community 
Then over here, I had their toddler books, our little rock collection that we have collected over the years. And then here I have their desks for my three and my five-year-old. So let me show you their desks. Here I have their schedule. So here I have what they're doing every day. So morning circle time, math, phonics, writing, and the shelf activities. Once they're done, they get to move this over and put it on the finish side so that they can see how their day is going. This is their little uh, pencil boxes, crayon boxes that I create for them every year. And this is, I can do great things. And every day when they finish their work, I will give them a sticker. And when they fill out the whole chart, I will get them uh, to go into the prize bin that we have for them. And then over here, we have their different workbooks that they're using this year. And I did make a video on what we are using for preschool and what we're using for my five-year-old son. So he has the same concept, the morning schedule, his pencil box, and his sticker chart there. And all of his workbooks are in here as well. Okay, so let's move on to the Feel Better corner. We have this little corner here in our schoolroom where they can get to come sit down if they're not feeling well, if they're feeling... Uh, sad or frustrated it's just a little safe place for them and let me show you the little chart that they have for them um so they have an i feel chart so they put you know if they're feeling sad they can just put i'm feeling sad and then there are some alternatives that they can take whether it's drying play-doh the feel better lotion that we have in their basket uh a little squeezy ball just lying down relaxing maybe drying something let me show you where we have a little basket over there where they can pull these things from. Then this is how you feel. Then this is explaining to them what those emotions are like. Because it's really important for them to know what emotions feel like because they don't have a grip on emotions yet and this is going to really help them. So that is our Feel Better corner. And then we have our Feel Better basket. And we put this in our closet. So when they come here, they can ask for the Feel Better basket. It's not something that we leave out all the time. We have a little teddy bear. We have a feel better notebook where they can draw or journal their emotions. And we have a lot of sensory objects in here and toys that they can play with, little balls, a lot of different things. We have a little comforter that one of our friends made if they want to just sit down and just put the comfort over them and hold the teddy bear. Um, and it's just having that little space for them. Again, the basket doesn't stay here. It stays in a closet when they ask for it. So that is our area for our kids. If you want to see the whole entire homeschool room set up, I made a video in my private community where you can have access to all of that inside information. I'm going to link below all of the products that I've mentioned here. And um, I'm looking forward to filming our first day of school video and also a whole day with my little. So if you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe because I'm going to be filming a whole day with my three and five year old and what they do every day on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching. Look below in the description box for all the links for all these things. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.